Ready. Okay. Hi, my name is Mattia Biaggi. And I'm Valerie Pobega. Welcome to our studio. How are we going to start this, uh, this introduction to our studio? Back and start. Um, we are from Italy, obviously. Can you tell my accent? <laughs> um, we moved to LA about 18 years ago and uh, we got our studio that we share for our very different practices but at the end not really because we're both very um, avant-garde. I'm a fashion designer but not how is usually expected. As being an artist um, I put my art into my fashion pieces. I have an avant-garde collection made of wearable art pieces. There are in museum collections and they're all hand-painted in limited editions. I have many intricate inspirations that go into the work. Uh, I can show you some pieces later. I'm a uh, multimedia artist. I work with uh, a lot of different media, from video to photo to painting. But I would say that mostly my practice is about uh, uh, creating sculpture. So I am a very sensorial artist, so I love to engage all my senses with my work. So one of the best way for me to do it is the tactile. So the best uh, work uh, for my uh, state of mind, I would say, that really indulge me to create work and then be happy is where I physically involved with the work. I work with collage, I work with collage on paper, collage on wood, I work with uh, plaster, I work with gesso, I work with black tar, I work with bronze. Pretty much, uh, you know, all of these materials, they play an important role in my life. So I pick uh, the, the material base, uh, also my emotional state. You always been a very good, uh, <laughs> how do you say? Uh, editor. <laughs> editor, for sure, because I yeah. make a lot of work. I like just to to create and she is always very good. Of, I have a of, of good eye for yeah, editing are. down and narrowing yeah. down the, the working of my life. Yeah. <laughs> oh my yes, you are. <laughs> so what is your favorite um, canvas to use? Like is a silk, is cotton, what you prefer? Well, um, silk is the material I prefer, depending how you use it. it can be like soft, like a cloud, or more heavy, but I like to work with different type of silks usually, but I work with actual canvases too. I've done a collection um, inspired by William Burroughs. So it was all cut up poems that I wrote and paint on the clothes in different uh, ways, um, changing the word as per the cut up technique that he invented. Mm -hmm. And so for that specifically, the canvas worked better because it was more stiff and they were like sort of like dresses slash sculptures. Tell me about what is your preferred material to work with? You know, the beginning of my work is with the black tar. I did the incredible collaboration. I became the face for Johnny Walker with the campaign. So that uh, is, uh, is uh, probably still one of my favorite material. I have to say one thing that I think is very important for me, that everything that I do in my practice, in my work, uh, is about preservation and transformation. That is the tar, that is the gesso, that is the collage, that is the ceramic, that is the bronze. Everything is about preservation and transformation. I go to phases, so now I'm uh, really back on the tactile. I like to put my hand in the material. So I would say the gesso right now, up today, is what I'm really deep uh, immersed to. Also, the way that I like to present my work is completely different from what is expected usually. Because I said, why you have to pick just the runway show? like? the best way to portray a collection where it was like huge pieces of silk like 30 yards per piece like it was with a dancer jumping on it i want to ask you a question that actually i never asked you before i i can hmm. guess but what era is inspired you more i will say 
the 1970s because of the music that I like, like David Bowie, like all that is from that era. So I will say that, but I'm, I'm also very inspired by the twenties, um, but all the rebellious eras, like again, seventies is also punk. I have to say the music, I feel that is what really music, poetry, many things, but music mm -hmm. is really what move you like strongly. It's funny cause again, music is one of my main inspirations. And actually, when I work on collections, for example, since we talk about David Bowie, I did like a David Bowie tribute collection. And the period where I was creating that collection, I would listen just to his music, watch his movies, his videos, like be completely like in a Bowie world. In order for me to create, I really need to immerse myself in that specific musician. It, it makes me create from that point of view, but I understand that <laughs> yeah. you're like no, out right. on. No, no, I know. When we came to LA, one of the first places that we went was the La Brea Tar Pits, and who knew that will open such a Pandora's box for you? But yeah, so that it was really the beginning, and I think so. If we never came to Los Angeles. Probably I will never use black tar in my work. To arrive, to achieve what I'm doing now with the tar has been, and you remember because you've been part of, three or four years where like I was not able to find the right, uh, the right temperature to pour the tar on top of some of the objects, like uh, the teddy bear, it was a secret, but now most of my collector and everybody know they're all frozen before. There was not really a book to read how I do it. So it was uh, the journey of making the work. And every object react completely different. When I did the motorcycle, for example, I did realize that the metal was absorbing so much heat because the tire is like boiling, it's like oil. So every time I was dripping something on top, uh, it was just melting. So that's where I discovered and I started to use the spray for injured. Like when you play football or something, then you have the ice. So I was icing at the, 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 the spot, putting tar, ice, uh, tar, and that I was able to create the, the layer. So it's been very interesting, uh, the process that I have to pretty much invent and uh, and going for. It's been a beautiful journey, I have to say. So what's about seeing some work? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>different kinds of silks, like this one, for example, from a collection called This is England, where I scribble on the fabric all the, um, what you can find in the nastiest bathroom in the 70s in London. I actually did research on it and I scribble exactly what I found uh, was written on it and some things you don't even want to know. <laughs> but actually, LACMA Museum got very interested by my process, like painting and writing on collections in different ways every time it changes the inspiration. And actually, one of these dresses is at LACMA, and also another one that I, I don't have here because they got my original sample. This is a cape, but again, it could be hanged like a painting. And uh, it has this poem that I wrote um, for this collection that was inspired by William Blake, Lord Byron, like all my favorite poets. And so as some of the uh, references that are on the words are painted on the piece as well. It was called Lilies as Snakes. So there's a lot of snakes and flowers on it. This is one I've made for Lady Gaga for American Horror Story Hotel. I've made two custom pieces for her. She was playing the part of the this vampire countess. And uh, this is like a hand-painted silk piece. Again, dramatic with drips, because to portray her character. This one is one that I made for Madonna. Um, she did an ap apocalyptic song and music video called 
goes down. So to make this dress for her, I literally burn it, drove on it with my car, <laughs> splatter it with paint. This is one of my favorite pieces uh, from my collection, Lilies and Snakes, where I hand painted intricate shapes of snakes um, and poems that I wrote into the canvas dresses. So the three-dimensional collage I've been exploring for the past 10 years, but really I start to create 3D sculpture in the past years. Some work I just print on paper and attach the imagery on wood and I'm cutting that out. Some work is being done with different type of technique. For example, a very sophisticated piece that I created for the Milan Design Week, it was in marble, where I was able to print directly on marble. Most of the imagery that I use are from a found magazine left from my wife in the house. Uh, also, I'm doing a lot of research about uh, traditional Italian painting, so a lot of imagery come from that uh, searching. I never uh, create uh, the collage initially in my mind. I like the idea of printing this imagery in random sites and just have the spontaneity at the studio to put them together have them take the form that they want to take. Going back in time, I really can see uh, this sculpture and the period of my time. So it's a sort of journey for me. I would say that this work has really allowed me to be completely authentic versus other medium that I use. I have to involve way more thought before and also people to assist me in the process. Uh, I'm very inspired by Fellini movie and uh, everything that he created in his career. And actually I have a specific book that is all Fellini dream, where there's uh, all his uh, sketch about his dream, the after they became uh, a character in the movie. And I can see a lot of that in my work, uh, the oversizing of figure, this kind of unhuman, uh, a mix uh, of elements that uh, Fellini always was able to portray in his movie. So, yeah, for sure Fellini is a big uh, inspirational uh, motif for my collage work. This is my tar work that has been inspired by La Brea Tar Pit. It's almost 18 years of uh, me working with this specific media. The most important and I would say strong uh, relation that I have with the media is his power to transform, preserve and capture a specific uh, emotion that I want to convey with the work. The first piece that I ever done in tar, it was a teddy bear. And that for me was really a way to preserve uh, forever a child uh, memory. The idea of capture that uh, emotion state forever with the piece, uh, it was really captivating me. This is my last body of work and uh, the idea of creating a series of uh, sculpture and lighting has always been something that I want to explore. This specific work is made completely in uh, white uh, gesso uh, or plaster. I start to use the collage technique on this uh, piece as well. So there are sculpture that they function like a light if you want but if you turn the light off they still remain a sculpture so this double uh, uh, identity uh, for me is really important
Thank you for visiting us today. I see you soon. Ciao. Ciao. Thank you.